Petty Cash Fund Petty Cash Fund is a way to manage spending for small expenses. Let's assume an employee asks the manager for $20 to buy supplies. After the payment, an entry is created to record the supplies and credit the cash for $20. Later, the employee returns asking for $10 to buy coffee. After payment, an entry is recorded to debit miscellaneous expenses and credit cash for $10. The employee returns asking for $30 to buy parking passes for visitors. Again, money is paid and an entry debiting parking expense and crediting cash for $30 is recorded. The managers soon realize that this is taking plenty of their time and effort and also adding more work to bookkeepers. So they decided to use a petty cash fund with an employee being appointed as the Petty Cash Fund custodian. The custodian is responsible to pay and reimburse the petty cash and collect receipts. When the employee is about to run out of money, the management replenishes the fund after taking the receipts and recording all transactions at once. Let's see how that works. The management will establish the fund by paying, let's say, $200 to the Petty Cash Fund custodian the petty cash fund is debit and the cash is credit for such an amount. The petty cash fund is still an asset account and that's why it is debited. Let's now assume that an employee paid $15 for stationery. He brings the receipt to the petty cash custodian who in return release cash for $15. No entry is required. Later, $25 for visitor parking passes are needed. The receipt is provided and cash is released from the petty cash fund. No entry is required. Later, $50 are requested for buying flash drives. The receipt is collected and cash is released from the petty cash fund. Still, no entry is required. Later, $90 is requested for paying postage. The receipts are presented and the cash is released. Now, the petty cash custodian is running out of cash, so the petty cash fund needs to be replenished. The petty cash custodian presents all the receipts to the manager, who approves them after checking that total receipts plus the cash remaining with the petty cash custodian matches the petty cash fund's original balance, as they should match. In this case, they should be equal to $200. The accountant will record all the transactions related to the receipts and release the equivalent amount to the custodian by a check. The entry to recognize all the expenses that incurred is as follows. Debit supplies for $105. Notice that both supplies receipts are added together. Debit parking expenses for $25. Debit postage expense for $50. And credit cash for $180. When the custodian receives the cash of $180, the amount in the petty cash fund increases to $200 again. Note that the petty cash account is not affected. If the petty cash fund is replenished too often, this usually indicates that the amount in the petty cash fund is too small. The business usually increases the amount of petty cash fund by adding more cash to the custodian's petty cash account. Let's assume that the business decided to increase the petty cash fund by $100. The entry to recognize this would be debit petty cash and credit cash for $100. On the other hand, if the cash in the petty cash fund is too much and the management wants to decrease it, it would ask the custodian to pay back some of the cash. Let's assume that the management will reduce the fund by $50. In such a case, the petty cash custodian would return back $50 and cash is debited and petty cash is credited by $50. If the petty cash custodian is going on a holiday or the management is asking him to transfer the petty cash to another employee, the custodian will pass the cash to another employee who becomes the new custodian. Let's assume that John, the old petty cash custodian, is going to transfer the petty cash fund to Kim. In such a case, Kim's petty cash account is debited and John's fund is credited by its balance, $250 in this case, to close it. 
What if the management decided to close John's petty cash fund instead of transferring it to another employee? In such a case, John would return $250 to the business and his account is closed. This is recorded by debiting cash and crediting the petty cash fund.